Happy Friday, Chesity. I'm Miguel of Chesity News. Last Friday, we had an intense soccer game. Gael and Brian went out to the soccer players to get their thoughts on the match. My name is Jairo. I'm a junior, and I play right wing and right back. I hope to get as much playing time as possible. I feel confident that I'll get a lot of playing time this season, and I feel confident with the rest of my team and the rest of my starting 11 that um, we'll make it further than we did last year. And not only that, I'm confident that we can win regions this year. So that's my team goal for us to win regions, and my personal goal is to get um, a lot of playing time and a few assists under my name. My name is Giovanni Gomez. I'm a junior, and I play fullback or winger. Uh, this season, uh, I'm expecting my team to, to win region. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that we have a solid team. Um, some team goals that I have, well, as I said before, <laughs> win region, uh, hopefully make it to win state. Uh, some personal goals is just be consistent throughout my performance, hopefully, hopefully leading to a, to a starting spot and securing my starting spot. Hey, my name is Juan Rosillo. I'm a senior this year, and I'm playing center back. Uh, I'm pretty confident on the team. I think we're going to have a really good record going positive this year, and I think we can go really far in the playoffs. I'm Carlos Reyes. I am a senior here at Chesity High School, and I am a left winger. Um, I expect the season to be good. We had a strong start. I was a little iffy about the defense, but, you know, I got proven wrong. We got good players, and hopefully we we make it to at least first round or second. Uh, my goals for the season are to at least score three goals and to be the one with the most assists this year. Tonight, soccer will be playing against Lumpkin County. Since there will be a soccer game, I'm interested in how good the weather will be today and the rest of the weekend. Hey there, Chesty. How you doing today? Griffin Barnes here with your daily forecast. Today, Friday, will be a high of 63 and a low of 37. Saturday will be a high of 52 and a low of 32. Sunday will be a high of 52 and also a low of 32. Have a wonderful weekend, Chesty. February is CTAE month. This week, we are focusing on healthcare science and the careers connected to that pathway. So healthcare science is an amazing pathway and I decided that I wanted to be a pediatrician whenever I took the healthcare pathway because I went through three different pathway classes and I've completed three different pathways including patient care fundamental, emergency medical response and then this one allied health and medicine and through that I decided to become a pediatrician because I learned all of these skills about patient care and about just how you're supposed to act around others and the value of teamwork and through that I decided I wanted to go into the medical field like 100% and also like in what is it, essentials you get to dissect and you can't really do that in other classes except maybe like once a year which I found really cool and we even went to a human cadaver lab and saw like real dead bodies which is kind of cool and unique but yeah. very rewarding career because you get to help people and it also a lot of the careers pay pretty well so that's nice too. Okay, I was also very amazed ever since I was small at the things healthcare workers do so I've always been interested in it. The reason why I would say that the healthcare or intro to healthcare um, class is good for high school is it gets you an idea about how the healthcare field operates and you get to learn about very critical elements that can help you and others in your everyday life, especially when it comes to saving someone's life. In Winter Olympics, the games begin Wednesday, and the opening ceremonies are today. Here's Mavalon of how Winter Olympics will work. 
Hey guys, and welcome back to week two of Mavelin Rambles about the Olympics. Not a whole lot of updates for you guys today, but updates nonetheless. However, I am going to start off with a little fun fact that I probably should have put in last week's episode, but I forgot to put in my script. Almost all of the snow being used during the games is artificial. Snow machines have been running at each of the venues since November. Some officials are concerned it might pose a safety hazard because artificial snow tends to be slicker when it's frozen than real snow. However, because of weather conditions, not enough snow has been produced to host the games. Anyways, about the actual games, athletes started arriving last week and started sharing some of their accommodations and pre-game adventures on social media. Competitions, training, and qualifications for curling, ice hockey, freestyle skiing, alpine skiing, ski jumping, and luge started earlier this week. Curling is currently in their round robin games, a process similar to other games in which every team gets to play every other team. The USA won their first game against Australia, but lost its following two matches against Italy and Norway. During the hockey games, USA's Brianna Decker got injured from a collision with a player from Finland's team. This caused her to have to be carried out on a stretcher and not be able to participate in the rest of the tournament. Despite this, the women's hockey team still managed to win 5-2. The opening ceremony took place a couple hours ago, and you can catch highlights of that online. Figure skating began today with their team event qualifiers. Over the weekend, biathlon, cross-country skiing, Nordic combined, short and long track speed skating, and snowboarding will begin their competitions and respective medal events. I'm very excited to head into our first full week of Olympic Games, and I'll be back next week with more updates and results. Have you ever been writing in class and wish there were some tips to help you? We have a new segment that will give you helpful technology tips that could help you write essays and other things better. Hello, Chastity. I'm Brian Garcia with your weekly technology tip. Have you ever had so many Chrome tabs where you accidentally deleted one and didn't know how to restore it back or it was a pain just to get back into that tab, well, here's a helpful tip for you. One simple solution in bringing back or restoring this Chrome tab, which many of you may know already, is Control-Shift-T. As you can see here, I am pressing Control-Shift-T to restore a Chrome tab. That's all for you, Chesty. I hope to see you next week for my next technology tip. In today's Senior Spotlight, we have two seniors talking about their high school experience and what they would like to do once they graduate. Hi everyone, I'm William Martin. I'm a 12th grade senior. And over the course of high school, I think I really like science. Science and a little bit of math. I'm not really a math guy, but when science goes along with math, I do like it. I was also involved in our high school uh, tech program for our theater. I love theater. This year, I got into acting during our uh, intro class and I have enjoyed it, and I would recommend the course to anyone. It is perfect for, you know, whether you like to build, whether you like to act, whether you like to write your own place. It's just a really good experience. After high school, I'm not gonna be in Georgia for much longer. On June 23rd, I'm shipping off to uh, Chicago for the US Navy. Uh, after that, I'm gonna be going to Pensacola, Florida for my intelligence school. After that, I'm wherever they want me. Hey, I'm Cooper Barrett, class of 22. I've played varsity football all four years. Uh, didn't really do many clubs first three years, but this year I'm a Skills USA officer, also in the AV club because I have the class. And McIntyre is a cool dude. So take that class, it's fun. This year I'm playing golf. I ain't never played golf a day in my life before. So senior year is just a year of trying new things. My plan is to go to Lanier Tech and get go to trade school and do welding. Probably the only thing I'll miss about high school is Friday night lights with my teammates and just all the moments we had. That's really it. That's all we got for this week, Chesity. Have a good weekend and go War Eagles. <laughs>